Hey guys, here we are. We're going to transform these, what is this, six? Six items, and I have one other item over here that we're gonna do a minor transformation on with a stencil, but these are mostly going to be decoupage. So yeah, I'm excited. I'm gonna start with this one because I'm most excited about this, and let's get going. Selected with help from Honey this design to get decoupaged on the inside. And I'm going to um, kind of tear the edges a little bit. But before I do that, what I want to do, because there's blue in this design is check these two colors and see which one matches better. This one is Skeleton Key from DIY and this one, I don't know what it's called, <laughs> but let's see which one most matches. very similar. So I guess this one is a little bit more blue-gray and this one's a little bit more dark blue. Boy, I'm going to have to probably go through my paint and see if I can maybe mix something up that'll match this better. And I have several other glues, so I'm going to play around with that. In the meantime, I'm going to get some white and I'm going to paint just this back piece um, so that when we put our uh, decoupage paper on, it will um, it'll pop better. So I'll be back. Okay, so I've got my DIY, <laughs> DIY paint and this one is White Swan. This is a very old um, container. It's probably a couple years old. And so it's really thickened. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take just a water bottle and I'm gonna mist that. And that'll help that spread a lot easier. I do like how when it's thick like that, because it, it goes on in less coats. And if you just put a little bit of water, it just spreads really, really nicely. So, you know, when I watch videos, sometimes people will show the whole process of, you know, painting something. And I think you guys all know how to paint. I am being careful to not get too close to the edge because I'm going to use a smaller brush so I can keep that white paint from getting on the inside lip. And this is mainly to just brighten up that image when it goes on. So if, if it's not extremely perfect, um, it's totally fine. I wish I was one of those people that could tell a story while they're painting, but I'm uh, real focus driven, so <laughs> I can't tell you a story. But I'll be back once I got the edges trimmed and we'll, um, we'll go from there. Okay, so the whole inside is painted white and I'm gonna put this down here and let that dry. Now I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna take a little tiny paintbrush and just dip it in some water over here and kinda just jaggedly go around with this 
water. And my dog is wanting in, so I may have to let her in in a moment. <laughs> Okay, I'm sure you've all seen this technique as well. You just go along that water line and make it so that it's not a perfect straight line. So, I'm not super happy with that, so hold on just a sec. Okay. So that's how it came out, and we're just going to continue all the way around this so that it doesn't look like it's been cut with scissors. So it looks kind of worn. Okay, so we got the inside painted. It's a little bit, it's tacky right now. So I kind of, you can see how this is all got the distressed edges. And I'm just laying it kind of gently in the center there. So you can see how that's going to look. I really, really like it. Now I'm going to try to mix my two paints. and. I've decided I'm just going to paint this edge. I was going to paint the outer, um, the outer edge, but I really like how it, um, you know, it's got the natural color of this wood in the image. So I'm just going to paint this outside edge and I'm gonna take Hey Sailor from DIY and I'm going to take Skeleton Key from DIY. And I'm going to play with those a little bit until I get um, close to uh, the blue in that image. So I have this little plate I used earlier for something and I'm just going to use that because it's not gonna be a big problem. So I'm gonna put, Hey Sailor is a, like a dark blue. And that beep you just heard means the batteries are running low on the, um, the what you call it, the smoke alarm thing. So I have to let Honey know about that. So I have to tell you, earlier this week I went through my paints because I was placing a large order and this paint right here was rock solid. And I used boiling water and I rehydrated it. And that's not a pleasant sound, that beeping. So I'm going to have to go talk to Honey about that. But um, that is the fantastic thing about this DIY paint is that you can rehydrate it. Now I did have a few that were like, like rock rock hard this was more like a clay that was just still just a teeny bit tacky um the stuff that was rock rock hard i could not rehydrate that but i'm gonna play with mixing this a little bit and i'll be back all right guys i'm gonna warn you the dog is enjoying drinking the water so you might hear that so i played around with my color a little bit and I got as close as I thought I could, and so I'm going to set aside the, the image. There's the dog drinking the water, and I'm going to use a small brush, and I'm going to hope to stay in these lines. And I'm just gonna go all around that 
and I'm not gonna make you watch. I'll be back. Okay, so I got my, my blue painted. I was kind of waiting for it to dry because I wanted to stress it. Um, and I got a little bit on the edges, so I wanna sand that off. But while we're waiting for that to completely dry, I'm gonna use the uh, DIY liquid patina to decoupage my image. And I am so excited to get this on here. I really am. All right, so I'm gonna start at the top where I just did the decoupage. And I'm gonna get that. Well, okay. So I'm going to be honest right now and tell you I am not thrilled with that white background. Um, it looks good behind behind the paper, but it doesn't look good uh, off of there. I don't like the way it looks. Well, I'll show you. And I know how already how I'm going to rectify it, so. I was just wheeling and dealing with a lady on Facebook Marketplace for about 13 roosters and um, I feel like I'm <laughs> feel like I'm stealing from her because she made me such a good deal it just is unbelievable but that's for another video I am really excited for my building but I am learning a lot of patience. I don't really have a lot of patience, but I'm learning patience because I um, have been trying to sell my business, my, my store, my business, my pet grooming business, and I've been having to wait for the final say from the underwriter and it we were supposed to have an answer by the last day of May and here we are the 11th of June and we're still waiting she made it through the first underwriter and we think it's all gonna be fine but I am having to learn patience and um, it's a hard thing to learn when you're not um, the kind of person who <laughs> who naturally has that. So this is coming out fantastic. And actually, um, although I didn't like the white around the edges at first, um, I might be okay with it. This looks killer and I love it. So I'm going to close this up. And I'm gonna lift this up and show you and then I'm gonna quickly go, go clean that brush because this liquid patina when it dries, 
it's not good for your brush. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I super love it. Okay, so I'm also going to put handles on each side. Um, so this can be like a tray. But I imagine this is something that will be displayed. It won't. I, I'm imagining anyway. I mean, anybody can do whatever they want. But I'm imagining it would not be um, something would actually be used as a tray. So let me wait for that to dry. And then we'll distress this. And we'll um, have Honey put on those handles. Ooh, so excited. Okay, this is our next project. And we'll get back to, we'll look at all of them in the end. Because that one we were just working on isn't quite complete. But I have this really cool, this was a mail sorter out of an old post office. And the lady uh, sold me this for $25. When I got there, it was much smaller and like thinner than I thought. I thought it was going to be about twice as um, wide this way. And so I was a little bit disappointed, but I was like, well... It's okay. I will find something cool to do with it. And I'm noticing now that it's a little bit pulling away from this backboard. But um, I'm going to take it out and let Honey see it and tell me what he thinks. But what we're going to do is we're going to paint the front white. And then we're going to use this beautiful decoupage paper. Does it go like this? It goes like this. And we're going to decoupage these birds. And I think it's perfect for the length because it's very long. And I'm just going to have a little bit, maybe like that much left over. So it's almost almost perfect. So, I'm going to take this out to Honey. I want him to look at it, see what he recommends before I proceed. Okay, here we go with the extremely <laughs> thick white swan. And we're just going to get a halfway decent coat on this top piece. Honey did tell me that, you know, there's a couple things he could do, but he's like, I really am not feeling like it would work. He said this piece is genuinely so vintage that it's just um, kind of warped in that position, and he doesn't think that Anything that we do is really going to hold for any extended period of time. So the decision was made to go with what we got. So I think I'm going to do a little dry brushing on this because this piece already had some uh, what looked like I don't know if it was dry brush or somebody had painted around it, but it's got some other white paint on it. So um, I am going to do a little bit of dry brushing on it. Just kind of random stuff. I don't know how 
how I'm going to dry brush in there. Maybe I just um, don't do that, but I'll let you see it, you know, how I end up doing the distressing. And I think I'm going to keep this piece for myself because there are some nails down in these cubbies that would not be good to sell to the public. And Honey's like, I don't know how we would get that out of there. So. Yeah, I'm not liking how this brush is, how this is dry brushing. Um, so I'll probably end up going over it with some sandpaper. But yeah, this is just on here. This is preparing for those for those birds. And I'm excited to get this one finished up as well because I love how those sheep turned out. All right, that's going to be good enough. And I'll be back. Okay, so here are our birds laid out. Now I had an issue with piecing because like this bird here, part of him is on the next piece of paper. And um, so what I had to do was I had to find a piece and cut it to put right here to make these work. So. I'm going to start with this little this little piece that needs to be right where it's at. And then I'm going to get this guy. up and go underneath and get these beautiful birds on this vintage uh, mail sorter. This is going to be so pretty. And I know some people are like, but it's vintage. And it's like, yes. You can do whatever you want with anything. But if I had some, like, some kind of stencil that said mail or something on it, I probably would have done that. But I actually spent a little time this morning looking for a stencil like that, and I didn't find anything. And I'm getting some wrinkles, but I'm not, I'm not really worried about it because I am going to go and distress this so that it looks like those wrinkles are just part of the plan. So now I'm going to decoupage on, or use the decoupage medium on top of this. And then I'm gonna let it dry, and I'm gonna use sandpaper on the edges to, um, rather than having a cut edge, I'm gonna use that sandpaper to, to kind of tear it off. And I'm already loving it. I did not know what I was gonna use this bird paper on um, but I really, I really think this is perfect. Okay. Okay. 
so I must have not put my, my little piece of paper where it needed to be. So I'm going to have to stick it in there. Shoot. So lining these up is a challenge. Okay, I think that's that works. Birdies. Yeah, these really long decoupage papers are just a little bit more intense. And try not to stress about these wrinkles in the paper. I've seen other people um, decoupage and then they have the wrinkles and then when they distress it, it just looks, it makes it look more aged. So, we're going to hope for the best. And it's past my lunchtime. I'm feeling like a sandwich or a salad or something. So that'll be the perfect amount of time to let this um, let this dry. All right. I you know I noticed earlier I keep saying and I'll be back, <laughs> but I will. So I'll see you guys after lunch. Okay, so I went ahead and, oh, it's not even totally dry, but I um, used the sanding block and tore the paper off up here. Now I'm gonna see how that's coming off and it looks a lot better than if you just cut it to fit and actually because I didn't completely cover the background like I left some distressed spots when I was painting the white it it's coming through the pap paper and looking distressed so, this isn't my idea. This is, people have been doing this for a long time, but it works. Trust me. It's way better than the alternative. Okay, we're getting there. They also make a, I don't know who it is, I guess it's IOD, I think, makes this in a, a transfer, which is, um, yeah, it's kind of cool. So I've got a little bit here that is still wet. But I'm always in a hurry. I get started on something. I want to get it finished so I can move on to the next thing. All right. Ta-da. There we go. Look how long it is. It's like even like 
all the way to here. So this is really cool. I can't wait to show it to you when I um, do a display. At the end of the video, um, I'll display all the items so you can see. And yeah, I'll, we'll move on to our next project. Okay, my next two projects are gonna be pretty simple. I've got this cutting board. I am going to use this um, decoupage paper. And since it doesn't go all the way up the handle, I'm gonna paint the handle black and I'm gonna paint the trim, the border around it black as well. Um, and then on this one, I'm going to put this bear. And here's my issue. Here's the back. This was actually the front, but I took the little bracket off the back because I wanted this wood grain. Um, and then my transfer is going to cover those two little holes, but I need to paint this. So I'm going to paint this part black. And I'm not sure yet if I'm going to paint this or leave it. But we'll see when I come back. Okay, so got everything that I needed painted black. I'm going to go ahead and put my decoupage medium on this board. It's funny, I took a little bit of a break and I watched uh, one of Debbie's design diary videos. <laughs> and she talked about decoupaging and how great um, this medium is far superior to Mod Podge. Okay. That should be pretty sufficient. And then I've got to really line up those, um, those lines at the top. That looks, that looks very vintage-y. I like it. All right, I'm gonna do the same um, thing with the sandpaper to tear the, the edges. And I will show you this project at the end. Okay guys, so here's my next project, and I'm going to admit already to you right now, I completed the whole project between yesterday and this morning that I didn't video, because honey just can't stop talking to me. But what I want to do on this little bench is I want to take this transfer, and uh, I think I'm just going to put it on the top, because then this red will, um, and this red will not show up. I don't really care for the red. I more want these colors because on the sides over here, I want to use these. So I'm gonna start by painting this little bench and I already cleaned it. Um, I'm going to paint it apothecary. I have just a little bit left in this can so we're gonna see if this will cover the whole, I, I'm sure it will. All right, and I'll show you when I'm done. Okay, we had plenty of paint. There was paint left over. We got the whole bench painted, ah, except for under here. Ah. I don't mind that, you know, there's some, what looks like distressing already, because I am going to distress this piece. But I'm going to go ahead and put this on. 
And like I said, I don't want that red piece to show. So I'm going to do it like this. And there we go. some more pressure. Okay, finally. There we go. Now let's let me lift. Almost there, guys, and then I can show it to you. Oh, I love it. Look at that. And then we still have these pieces that I can save and use on something else. So I still have all of this. I just have to figure out where I want to do my placement because I definitely want some on the sides and I might want something on here. So I'm going to play with the placement and I'll be back. 